What's going on guys? Yes, you read that title right. I have to be honest with you. I am tired of feeding YouTube and the algorithm and <laughs> everything that comes with it. Um, I know just last week we shot the three years of 30 and rolling and I couldn't be more proud of that to be honest. I am super stoked on that. You know, uh, doing anything for three years is a pretty sizable achievement and I'm super proud of that for my own personal reasons. But I guess you could say I'm feeling burnt out. Uh, if you if you noticed this last week, I did it again and basically made a commitment and made a goal for this next year that I would be posting once a week. Um, and I, you know, I think there's some goods and some bads with that. You know, I think the good thing is it keeps me posting. It's a forcing factor to like stay honest and true to myself. So it's like I can, you know, hit some goals and make some achievements in my life uh, and for this channel and community. But, you know, that really comes with a lot of downsides. And I kind of mentioned this in last week's video, if you guys caught it. I am super busy. Life is ramping up for me in terms of how much time I have to actually make videos. Um, you know, be it the family and kids or, you know, work coming like ramping back up after COVID. Uh, and then just, you know, my own personal life, just being able to just go and do more stuff on a whim um, and not feel like, you know, I'm tied to this deadline or the schedule beyond things that I have to do, like my life and my work or my family and my work. I didn't write a script for this. I really have no notes for this video. I just wanted to, as you can tell, this is not my normal setup for shooting a video. I literally just wanted to create this video to just be as honest as possible to you guys, the viewer. I know you guys will support me with pretty much anything I do, but you know, I've been just, I've been wrestling in my head with, you know, I've been doing this for three years now, right? And when I started this YouTube journey, I started it because one, I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I didn't know what I wanted to start, but when I got back into skating, I was like, bam, that's it. I want to do this because one, it forces me to skate more and, you know, just to be creative and be healthy while I'm doing it, you know, and like be getting better at skating and whatnot. And all of that is great. Uh, I also want to start a YouTube channel because, you know, I wanted to see, I wanted to learn, you know, the ins and outs of kind of the social media thing. Cause in my day job, I am a web designer, I make a lot of websites, do a lot of stuff online and make videos and photos, all sorts of stuff. And I just kind of wanted to have a little more insight into that social media content creator side just for whatever it you know, is. And I feel like I've gotten that out of this experience. I'm really stoked on that. The last thing that I got in this for was because it wouldn't be bad to start something if it took off to have some kind of a passive income, just a few bucks to pay some grocery bills or something every month, you know? But, to get back to the name of this video, uh, how I just am tired of feeding YouTube, the YouTube algorithm really, as I see it, really <sighs> promotes people that post constantly and post a lot. Um, I mean, you'll see lots of other content creators even sprawling outside of YouTube to cast a bigger, wider net uh, in order to have more reach and just more return on investment, I guess, um, uh, whether that be like podcasting or, you know, streaming other places or whatever it be, maybe when I got into this journey of YouTube, it was really more for me than it was for the money. Um, yes, I wanted to have a small passive income possibly on this just as a little kickback, which I do. And it's nice. And I appreciate that. But it wasn't ever about making a ton of money on this. I mean, if it was about making a ton of money, I would be going <laughs> into the, the video game market or talking about camera equipment or, you know, a number of other things that have a huge market and a huge industry built around them that can really support and provide uh, 
cash incentives for sponsoring the videos, giving more products away that are more expensive, you know, having just the community behind them that is, you know, millions strong. It's just, we don't have that here with the inline skate thing. And I'm okay with that. I, you know, to be honest, like I said, I wanted to get into this because I wanted to just give one give back uh, to the skate community because these were two things that I love doing is skating and filmmaking put that together you might as well you know give back so you know that's where i'm at like i said i didn't write a script for this so it's it's really really kind of raw that you guys are catching me here but I, I hope you guys are getting just an honest inside look of my brain uh and and just the feeling that i am burnt out and i'm coming at you just honestly and letting you know kind of the future that i'm planning for with my channel currently my YouTube channel said weekly videos, and I have been very consistent with that and very proud of being consistent with that for pretty much the last three years, other than, you know, a few weeks here and there that I'll put up a can't do a video this week because I'm, you know, doing something. <laughs> I'm busy. I think I'm going to go to, this is where it all comes down. I think I can't promise myself anymore and you guys, the community, a one week or one video a week upload schedule. That's just too much. Um, there's so much that goes into these videos. One, the time it takes to kind of think and plan what I want to go do because I don't want to make these videos all the same where I'm just going to the park and skating and doing the same stuff every single day and uploading it again. I kind of want to this, you know, make a little differentiation so it's not just the same thing all the time. So that, you know, just planning out what I want to shoot, you know, what is inspiring to me at the time, that kind of thing. Uh, on top of that, just the what, getting around weather or getting around time to get out to actually get this shoot done. You know, once I'm out and doing the shoot, it doesn't take but a couple hours or less. And then I have to come back and edit it all, which any video, you know, from the shortest little skate park video, recap video kind of things, you know, I'd say four hours of editing on those things all the way up to like these reviews that are like 30 minute long epics that take easily 12 hours of editing. Um, you know, it's, it's just overwhelming. Uh, when I've got a full-time job, a, uh, family with two young kids and, um, you know, I'm just, I feel burnt out and I feel like I'm not going to, at this rate of posting every week, I don't think I'm going to be able to be inspired and pushing out creative content that is ins as inspiring to you or evolving even, you know, it's, it's almost, I feel like in the last few months, I've just been, other than a couple of videos, I've just been, you know, trying to figure out something to put up just so that I can make it to the next week. Um, sometimes I'll get ahead, you know, my wife and I went on a trip and we hit a few skate parks and I got those recorded all at once so I could just edit them at once and, and put them up. And, you know, these last two weeks I haven't been able to skate. So it was great that I could just post those, but that doesn't always happen. So I think this bi-weekly thing by, you know, just really kind of dialing it back, it's going to allow me to put out, you know, my sim, my same quality content that I, I feel is quality. Hopefully you guys do too. But on top of that, just, just give me time to, really be more planful about what I'm putting out. Um, on top of that, be able to just take a break in a week if I need to, to just spend time with kids, spend time on work, spend time doing whatever I wanna do, go skate just for fun and not have to bring my camera along. That's, <laughs> I can't tell you one thing when, when you start YouTubing what you love to do. I mean, it's great, it's fun, but sometimes you just wanna go do what you love to do and not think about all the camera angles and what you're going to say and blah, 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 blah. Did I get everything? So when I go home, I can make an edit. Yeah. I'm rambling in this video. I'm super sorry. Uh, but I hope you guys are getting what I'm trying to put down. Another thing of doing a bi-monthly upload schedule is it's going to allow me, um, to do more, hopefully more project based stuff in the background. You know, I feel like I'm currently doing almost a vlog style not vlog style, but like vlog upload rate. I know vloggers usually upload almost every day, but to me, you know, once a week kind of feels almost towards that vlogging 
status of a YouTube channel, and that's not necessarily what I want to be. I really want to have more time to create stuff in the back, uh, longer format videos, these tip videos uh, or course videos, um, which are going to be multi-part videos, all going to be uploaded at once. That's, those are going to take some serious time, and I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to do those uh, when I'm trying to just get out my weekly video. So on top of that, another project-based thing I've always had thoughts of doing is just uh, short-form videos, I guess. Um, just more kind of a creative, cinematic, short-form poetry, in a way, around inline skating. I've have, I have these couple thoughts that I want to shoot and I just don't have time to do that kind of thing when I'm trying to put out a video a week. Um, I just don't have the the time to, to create what I want to create with that. So I just haven't yet. I haven't put that stuff out. So I, I'm hoping by going every other week, it just gives me a little more time to work on some of that stuff as well. Yeah. I mean, I think that pretty much covers it. it I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Um, you know, am I letting myself down by not keeping my feet to the fire and really just pushing out content, which, you know, I feel like is a really good thing to do for creatives because it's really easy to strive per, for perfection um, or get, get paused on not the right thing and just putting out something. You know, I, I think that crazy upload schedule is good for that. It's good for just staying creative and just pushing content and evolving. But at this point in three years in, I kind of feel like it's, it's hindering me. I feel like it's not the upload schedule that I really need to be doing in order to push my, push my channel and myself creatively uh, to that next level. Yeah. I, you know, to be honest, I don't know what, how YouTube algorithm is going to, like this after I'm, I've been feeding it, you know, weekly content for almost three years now. Um, well, three years, over three years now, but, uh, you know, I missed a few weeks, obviously, you know, maybe it's going to shun me and you guys, <laughs> I won't be growing as much, but for me, I think it's more about quality of life and quality of product at the end of the day for you guys watching, uh, quality of people watching as well. You guys, um, I, I would rather have less people subscribe to my channel and watching my videos, but the people that are subscribed and watching my videos are quality viewers and community. Um, that's, that's just what I want. I, I don't, I don't care for, about the numbers. You know, the money would be nice. Sure. I'm not going to say it wouldn't, but it's not about that. It's, it's about, it's about life, me having fun skating and me having fun filmmaking first. And, uh, I think that's, you know, really what it's about. I think that's it guys. I, I don't know what else to say. Like I said, this is completely unscripted. I hope I hit everything I wanted to say, but, uh, if you guys have any comments, thoughts, motivational <laughs> speeches, whatever it is, I am all ears. You know, I love your guys' feedback and your guys' you know, points or information or, or motivation. It's just really helpful for me to help craft what I'm doing to, you know, just have a sounding board. Cause like, if I'm just creating stuff for myself, like what's the point, you know, it needs to be a nice kind of even balance between you guys are enjoying what I'm creating. I'm enjoying what I'm creating and I'm doing it at a, at a reasonable pace for myself and for you guys. That's just not killing me. So yeah, I'm all ears guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any anything you want to say. I'm all ears. I love hearing your comments and respond. I try to respond to everyone. So I think that's going to do it for today, guys. I know this is not the video you guys probably want to watch this week, but that's it. I just had to get it off my chest. I was going to do this in a post, a community post, but I just felt like I wouldn't get as many eyeballs and as much comment and as much feedback uh, in that community post. So here it is. Sorry, there's no skating this week. It's wet outside. I couldn't skate anyways. So, so yeah, guys, I think that's it. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hang that bell so you don't miss any of these uploads. And until next time, guys, just keep rolling.